In the reactive sputter technique, it's possible to have a fine control of the parameters, which allows to deposit niobium oxide film with different stoichiometry and properties. The main advantage of this technique is the deposition of homogeneous films with good adhesion over large areas and at low cost and low residue production. It's important to pay attention to each step and to not skip any. Visualizing how to handle the equipment and the final appearance of the films helps to achieve a good deposition. Begin by protecting the substrate surface with a thermal tape, leaving 0.5 cm of one side exposed. Deposit enough zinc powder to cover the area to be etched on the top of the exposed fluoride thin oxide, and slowly drop concentrated hydrochloric acid until all of the zinc powder is consumed by the reaction. Immediately wash the substrate with deionized water, remove the tape, and sonicate the substrate with soap for 15 minutes, followed by two times in water, acetone, and isopropanol alcohol. After fixing the substrate through a metal shadow mask, place the substrate into the sputtering chamber. After sealing the chamber, start the mechanic pump and turn on the turbomolecular pump. When the vacuum reaches 5 times 10 to the negative 5 torr, open the water cooler system and turn on the substrate.